Well, in our last session, we we ended up talking uh, at the end um, about uh, the concept of flow or being in the zone, or actually maybe that's it wasn't. It was me asking questions in the Q&A um, and just asking you some questions about what do you do to get into the zone or have you ever felt like you've been in a state of flow? And, and, and I think this applies in multiple areas. It definitely applies in the area as a communicator. And, um, you know, if you speak a lot, uh, you understand the difference between um, giving a speech or a talk or a message where it it just is really hard work the entire time. You're you're brutally aware of every sentence of every moment. You're looking at the room trying to figure out whether people are connecting with you. You may even have like little hot flashes of of you know you're breaking out in sweat, going I'm not sure if we're connecting and uh, and 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 then you have maybe the um, the opposite experience of you get up there and you speak and then it's over and you're like, what, what just happened? <laughs> you know, I don't, you didn't even have a, a conscious thought during the high, entire talk, the entire time up there. And, uh, it just sort of came and, and, and you may not even been certain whether it was good or not, to be honest with you. It's like, it's not like, like when I'm talking about the state of being the state of flow or, the, or being in the zone where you're like, just, so aware of like, I'm awesome. Uh, by the way, nine, 10 times when someone has told me that they were awesome after they spoke, they, they were not. And uh, so, you know, so don't, don't, you know, let like self-perception be like the singular radar of whether you're in the zone or in the flow. It's, it's usually when um, it, the beginning, the end almost feels like it's disconnected. And, and you're, you may not even be sure what happened? You just know that something very unique happened with you, and uh, and then you begin to get feedback that it's almost like bigger than yourself. I, I can tell you as a speaker, I've been in both places and uh, and other places where it's an ebb and flow. Um, I've had um, times where you know a thirty minute talk, a forty five minute talk, depending on on how much pain I wanted to inflict on myself and others, you know. It has been brutal. It's just hard work. And what's amazing to me, though, is that sometimes those talks that are hard work and they don't feel like there's any flow, I'm not in the zone, I don't feel like I've achieved this this state of being, um, people will still come back and have really tangible, practical um, applications to their life and significant life change. And so I don't want you to think that when you're not in flow, that powerful things aren't happening. And I, I kind of want you to realize that if you're, if you're true to your message and um, are faithful to deliver what people need, you have to have some level of trust that someone is going to be helped. And, um, and, um, and that what your ego needs is affirmation. And oftentimes when you're looking for affirmation, your, in, your insecurity, your uncertainty may give you a misread. You actually may have done a fantastic job, but you're so needing affirmation that you're thinking you didn't do a great job. And other times you're getting so much affirmation that people are actually affirming you because it wasn't great. They're affirming you because they're trying to really like encourage you. And you think, oh, I was really in the zone. And so you can't read those things based on those instantaneous feedback loops. And there's something else going on, and I want to like maybe go there. There are places, and I feel this uh, in my life as a speaker. I, I know this is true as a writer when I get into a, um, a state of flow. I know this is true as a leader when I get into a state of flow. And I also know this as um, a creator when I'm designing something or thinking through ideas or um, trying to um, – um, like excavate a, a new thought, a new idea, a new project, a new uh, direction. And so I think I can put it in almost any space. And and frankly, I think that I, um, I, I have experienced states of flow that would seem to be odd in terms of like in the realm of like mathematics um, um, in, in some areas of um, what might seem to be ridiculous um, attention to detail. And, um, and, and then I can, and I know I've experienced states of flow when it comes to memorization, like, uh, memory, 
where um, when I'm in a state of flow, when it comes to memory, I can remember things that um, seem almost unexpected or, or uncanny. Or uh, my, my wife would just say, there's just no way that you could know that. And then she would Google it and it would be true. And 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 so I would say is that flow can happen in so many different arenas of your life. 